Hey, what's up guys? This is Correcty Fox, and today we're building Boko, the green mixed traffic diesel engine from Tom's Friends. And he is also known as the Metropolitan Victor's Diesel Electric Type 2, as described by Edward uh, in the episode about diesel <laughs> with Bill and Ben. Uh, so yeah, this is a new and improved 2022 redesign of this older one. You can see uh, there has been a lot of changes and uh, you can see even the front, you see this window pillar. It's just really, really thick. Uh, I made the face shorter as well. We also have improved truck designs. So compare that, the older one right there. And just like everything is a lot more accurate, especially like the roof detail, like this thing. I had the bumps, but they weren't supposed to be in the middle. They were actually like offset to the side. And there's like a little vent here. And here's what it looks like in the back. We also do have like this logo here on the side, little writing. It's a lot more accurate than whatever I had like a pumpkin before. Um, but yeah, and Boko, if you don't know, it comes from his wheel arrangement, which is Kobo. Three axles and two axles. So this axle right here is three. And then the axle here in the back is going to be two. So that is um, why it's called uh, Boko, just Kobo. All right, so I just updated Boko from what he looked like in the original intro video that I filmed. Uh, I realized some flaws. We need to open up the distance between the two axles as well as move this logo so it's past the vent. And I also add the banner here while I was uh, filming the original tutorial. And that's because when I was working on Daisy, uh, Daisy is apparently... Uh, similar to Boko, but different at the same time. Like, I originally built Daisy with the same truck arrangement. But then I realized she's supposed to be Bo-Bo, I think. So there's like two axles per bogey, not two and three. Although there were some appearances where she had three uh, axles. Really, she's supposed to be, you know, two axles for truck. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> working on Daisy helped me make uh, Boko improve design. Because they both share this two axle bogey that's going to be the same for both builds and i wanted to make them the same if you are building this so yeah let's get started again with the tutorial so let's get some materials we'll take out a red concrete a black concrete a green concrete smooth quartz smooth quartz stairs red sandstone wall dark oak trap door dark oak fence and nether brick fence and that's all we can fit right now so first off let's make this uh, red concrete, three blocks above the tracks, three blocks wide. And then a red sandstone wall in this corner with a dark oak trapdoor and close that up. A uh, dark oak fence in the middle, nether brick fence next to that. All right. Then behind, we'll add in black concrete. So this is actually going to be one here. And then above, we'll make it so it's going to be two blocks wide like that. And we're going to make it so it's going to be 39 blocks. So I repeat 39. I'm going to extend it out just like this. Once we reach the back, we can add in our lime concrete. Make it three blocks wide and four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, like that. Extend them all up like that. And the middle will make it two blocks wide like this. If you can't tell already, we're just building one half of it at a time. Oh yeah, we also need to add in a red concrete three blocks wide down here. And then a red sandstone wall in the corner, dark oak trap door, and close that up. A dark oak fence in the middle, and nether brick fence next to that. Then down underneath, we'll add in a row of acacia slabs, just three blocks wide, and then acacia stairs uh, right behind it on the edge. We'll also add in this dark oak fence gate, and it's going to be one in the middle here, and then another one here, open that up. Let's go in the front and sort of do the same thing. Uh, we'll add in a row of acacia slabs down here and then our acacia stairs in the corner behind it and uh, dark oak fence gates right there underneath next up we'll add in smooth quartz stairs just three blocks wide upside down and then a two by three smooth quartz on top of that behind we'll add in a lime concrete we'll make it so it's four blocks tall and then the middle here we'll make a two by two Next on top, we'll add in this uh, black concrete, just two blocks here and one block here. Polished black stone brick stairs in the corner and then slabs on top. As well as a um, port fence right there and a lime uh, banner right there on the side. We'll also add in a two by two of lime glass panes right there. Let's work on the other side. 
So on this side, we'll make a skip a block of lime and then make a two by three lime glass panes. Then we'll add in our black concrete, same, you know, window design that we did in the front, just rebuilding it right here and lime banner right there on the side. All right. So next up, let's add in uh, down here a black concrete. So it's going to be two blocks right here in the middle. Like that. And then we'll also add in this acacia trap door in the inside part. So in the front area, we're going to add in two acacia trap doors. Just like that. All right. Next up, we'll add in um, lime concrete. So there's going to be uh, three blocks here. So it's got to line up with his face. So one, two, three, like that. And then we'll add in lime wool, three blocks, one, two, three, like that. And then three lime concretes. And then we'll make this go all the way so it's a three by three. And uh, for this section, there's going to be a black concrete two by three inside. And then lime wool, just fill this in. It's a three by three. And we'll also need our lime, I mean, not lime. Uh, warp trap doors so that they're back to back and a black glass block here and we're going to make it so it's going to be two blocks tall like that next up we'll add in um, lime concrete so it fills in all the way down this is going to be our bottom and extend this lime wall all the way down the lime concrete all the way down and then we'll add in lime wall you know two blocks tall like this and i believe it's seven but i'm just going to make sure yep it's seven blocks long so extend that out. And we're also going to add two blocks wide birch buns underneath this window. Let's go back onto the other side and we're going to add in uh, this two by two black concrete inside, and two black glass blocks here. And then we'll skip a block, add in a lime concrete, you know, two blocks tall like that. And then warp trap doors, close them up like that. And then we'll make this lime concrete into a two by three and then lime wall. And this is going to be two blocks tall, and I believe it's uh, eight blocks long, so extend it out so it's eight. And then we'll add in lime concrete in like that. Now for this bottom area, it's going to be all lime concrete all along this bottom. And actually, this extends to the other side, so just fill in the bottom of this with lime concrete. So it should look like this, as well as this middle section lime concrete. All right, looks like that so far. And then in the middle part, uh, we're going to skip three blocks of lime concrete here. All right. And then we'll add in a two by two of lime uh, glass panes like that. All right. So next up on the roof, we'll add in our smooth quartz uh, block. So it's two blocks here and then one block on the edge. And then we'll add in three snow layers right in that corner. And what we're going to do, we're going to extend this uh, white layer. Uh, roof all the way up to the other side. So it should be looking like this. All right, next up on the roof, we'll take out polished deep slate uh, block. And uh, we're going to actually skip three blocks here. So one, two, three. And then punch in a T shaped hole like that, three blocks long. All right, and then on the sides, so there's going to be smooth cord stairs facing inside, and then polished deep slate block, and then stairs so that they're back to back gonna make a vent like that we're also going to skip three blocks so skip that and we'll add in snow layer three layers tall i mean three layers long skip a block and then add in five so one two three four five and then the middle we'll add in this iron pressure plate like that all right next up we'll go over here go to this where this uh, vent starts, delete these two block wide hole, and then we'll add in smooth cord stairs so that they're facing the inside of this, making a little vent like that. Next up, we'll go down here, punch in a T-shaped hole, and the inside, we're going to make a V-shape of oak slabs, upside down, red nether brick stairs, and on the inside of that, we're going to add a hay, hay bale behind it, and then lime concrete behind the rest. We're also going to add in three block tall iron bar here, skip block another three like that. And then we'll go in the front where this section is, just add in the same railing design here. I guess it's like a doorway or something. All right, after we're done with that, let's go here, uh, right where this glass pane is, go down. Then we'll add in three lime concretes just like that. 
Underneath, we'll add in this oxidized uh, copper, cut copper slab three blocks long like that. And we're going to extend this so it goes all the way up to uh, the middle like that. And then for this section, we'll add in a cut oxidized copper stairs upside down like that. And then two right side up like this, and then slabs two blocks wide underneath. The inside, this is going to be a two by three of black concrete. So it's just like that. All right, after that, we'll make uh, the truck. So let's go here, and we're going to make a plus sign. That's going to line up where we have this wool here. So make that plus sign, black concrete, just like that. And we'll also add in uh, nether brick stairs, and that's going to be in the corners, just like this. And I'm going to turn on night vision just so you guys can see a lot easier, you know, because it could be pretty dark. Anyways, next up we'll add in a polished blackstone brick a wall, just two blocks like that. And then we're going to actually um, copy it so it's going to repeat the same thing. The wall and the wheel just repeat that same thing afterwards. Just like that. And then after that we're going to add in yet another wheel. Um, I'm just doing it just to save us time, but it is the same. Just like that. All right, then we're going to add in walls to the sides of all the wheels. That, and then we'll add in um, upside down polished blackstone brick stairs so that they're going to be facing um, the walls like this. So just keep on doing that for each of these middle walls, I guess. Then this one here at the edge, another one. And then on this side, yeah, it's this one's actually going to be back to back, so you guys could do both sides at the same time. And then this thing goes all the way across like that. All right, so for the inner part of this, we can add in a black concrete, just two blocks tall like that. And then we're going to extend this so it goes all the way to the back wheel, just like that. Then we're going to add in black concrete in the gaps uh, right above the walls like that. And then we'll need our polished blackstone brick slab right above this wall here, this wall over here, and then we'll connect the two sides together, going all the way across. Why is there an acacia trap door there? I have no idea how that got there. Like that, and then we'll add in slabs uh, in this uh, bottom area like that. And then in the back here, we'll add in a row of Polish black stone brick slabs like that. Alright, so I think that is pretty much it for this three axle bogey. Now for the two axle bogey, let's go here on the edge. And um, we're going to line up where this um, iron bar is. Just make it a plus sign. Black concrete. Another brick stairs. Going to be our wheel. And then we're going to add in a polished black stone brick wall here and then two black concretes. Polished black stone brick wall again there. And then black concrete on top of it. Just like that. And then we're going to add in our second wheel. I guess we'll just do both wheels at the same time. That. And then nether brick stairs and corners. And then polished black stone brick walls in the middle of the wheels. And then um, uh, polished black stone brick stairs is going to be upside down facing towards these walls just like that then this outer edge we'll add in black concrete here and then upside down polished black stone brick stairs gonna go all the way to the middle like that all right next step we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs go all the way across like this and then a polished black stone brick stairs here and then two block tall two block wide black concrete and uh, we'll go go over here Add a black concrete at the bottom row, all the way across to the other end. And then we'll go here, skip this stairs here, we'll leave a little hole there. And then add in black concrete all the way across. Um, just like that. Alright, next we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs. It's going to go all the way across the top of this truck. All the way just before the end here, like that. Alright, so once you've done that, that is pretty much it for the trucks, and we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. Alright, so once we built the other side, it should be looking like this. 
And yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build Boko in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you want to support the channel, uh, leave a comment down below writing anything. Subscribe, uh, hit the like button. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.